This section will cover fake and borrowed identification. Young people have been using fake, altered, and borrowed ID to obtain alcohol for years. In some families, it's a rite of passage and joked about around the family reunion table. Pretty funny, right? Only until someone loses their liquor license or is shut down for a couple of weeks. These minors using these bad IDs could care less about your liquor license or the people that are put out of work because they're caught in your bar drinking underage. This is one of the most important lessons for any employee working within the hospitality industry. One of the top two beverage control violations across the country is for service of alcohol to a minor or allowing a minor to consume alcohol on a licensed premise. This violation can cost you your job, put a bartender in jail, and even cost the liquor license holder, the bar owner, their license. Please take everything you can from this course and use it. Let's start with a pretty funny video clip. Not much setup needed here. Just remember, try to read the information printed on the fake ID the kid uses to buy booze and porn. Let's watch. Uh, like Jugs Magazine. Porn Magazine? Yeah. How old are you, sir? 22. Can I see your ID? Yeah. I have some Porn Magazine. Back You're here. carding me? Wow. It's been so long since I got carded. I'm going to ruin this magazine when I get home. Can I see your ID again, please? One more time, please. I'm sorry to bother you, you know? So I just want to make sure... I don't ask to check your green card, pal. Mm -hmm. Don't be jealous, I moisturize. <laughs> what kind of liquor makes an ugly girl cute? Vodka? Yeah. Want to go behind the store and get liquored up with me? Richard? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, this is a fake ID. <laughs> I used to check IDs. Where, at the Ramron? Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and do this. You showed me ID, so ten seconds. Yeah, he did show you ID. Here you go. You're really your doctor? Yeah. What do you do? I'm a urologist. It's not just for me, it's for my lady too. We're going back to the treehouse for some love. One more question. Can those Budweiser frogs really talk? Mm. No. No? Mm. <laughs> Pretty funny, right? This was actually shot several years ago by the guys on the man show. The kid actor at the time was only 17. He had no problem buying whatever he wanted though, did he? Why is that? Why did this kid succeed? Did these operators that sold him booze and porn have to? He did show ID. Nah, they didn't have to sell him anything. But why did the kid succeed? The kid had guts. When the clerks confronted him and questioned him about his ID, he fired back with some demeaning or mean comment. The clerks didn't know what to say. They didn't know what to do and they just gave in. The clerks also didn't know how to check ID. They looked at the ID and in some cases twice, but they still didn't know what to ask. Here's a couple of important things to look for. Notice the name on this ID. Do you think the kid had an ID in his pocket with the name Jimmy Kimmel on it? If he was asked for a second ID, do you think he could have presented it? Probably not. How about this one? This kid is five foot nothing. But notice on the ID, it says he's 5 foot 10. And finally, in all your years, have you ever seen a young looking person, or anyone for that matter, with their job title on their ID? Notice this, Dr. Richard Head. Come on now, Dr. Dick Head? If you haven't experienced someone like this kid at your door, someone quick-witted and sharp, just be prepared for it and remember this, you're the boss. You don't have to let anyone in your venue with a smart aleck answer. And if you're a server, you don't have to serve anyone a drink that doesn't answer your questions properly. Let's move on to the meat of this course now. 
When I'm traveling and training around the country, I love the opportunity to work the door of any bar or club I'm at. This short interaction with the guests can be so valuable later when a problem erupts or an argument starts. The parties might remember you from their door experience. Checking the ID isn't just checking the ID. It's much more and can lead to discovering other problems with the guest. Remember when I mentioned that violations surrounding alcohol service to minors was the number one most common beverage control violation in the country? Well, the second most common violation can easily be discovered when screening the ID at the door, if it's done properly. This violation surrounds the person who's already obviously intoxicated or over-intoxicated. 